In this video, I'll show you how to use Contact Scraper, which is extremely simple to use. When you first log into Contact Scraper, if you check this box, it will remember your username and password for you to save you time in the future. I'll log in now. You can see I have a couple of jobs already, but let's set up a new job by clicking on New Job, choose Contact Forms, and remember wherever you see a question mark, this gives you information about the option you're looking at. The job description is purely to help you remember what this is about. I'm going to do an example of gardening and we can type in our job keywords immediately if we have several of them and so on. Now if you need some inspiration you can click on generate keywords, put in a seed or main keyword here such as gardening and then click on search and you will see that keywords are generated for you. I'll leave it at 40, but you can leave that running as long as you like. Of course, the more keywords you use, the more credit you'll use. If you're happy with this keyword list, then you can click on Copy Keywords, and it will copy them over into the keyword list for the job. You can still edit any of these that you want here. I'll just do a couple, purely for the purpose of showing you how this works. The job tags are to help you file the jobs and projects so that if you're doing this for particular niches you can have a look at certain jobs more easily later. You don't have to use this if you don't want to but if you want to organize your jobs when you're thinking ahead and you may have several jobs in your list this can be useful. So if I put gardening as my job tag that will help me later. If you click this box then you will get trust and backlinks data for each of the websites that, that are identified. Again we have information here. This is particularly useful if you only want to contact the best quality sites. Click on Create Job, click Close here, then Continue, and the job will queue for you. And depending on the number of keywords, it will only take a couple of minutes to finish. If you have a large number of keywords, it can take longer, of course. When it's finished, you can see approximately how many contact forms might have been found. And then to contact the people in the websites that have been found, we go to the Contacts tab, click on the Refresh button here, and then choose the job from the list. So I'll choose the latest job here. And what it's now showing me is a list of all the domains that it has found. At this point, I can do a couple of things. I can sort by the trust so that the highest ranking sites appear at the top. I can sort by the referring domains, or I can just sort by the domain name alphabetically. In many cases, if you're going to the trouble of looking at the trust factors, you would sort on the trust. Now, if you wanted to look at particular types of website, for example, .co.uk, if you type into the search box here, .co.uk, it will filter instantly, and you're only going to be looking at sites in the .co.uk domain. If I type .com, I'm only going to see .com sites, and if I wanted .nets for some reason, I can type that in and it will filter for me instantly. Now the next thing to notice is that we can configure the autofill details for our contact. Now I've filled this in separately earlier and you would put in whatever message you want here, the subject and the body, and usually this would be to introduce yourself to a potential website partner. When you've put in the information you want, click on close here and then work your way through the websites looking for the ones that you want to contact. I'm going to use this one as an example and by clicking on the name here the page loads for me and this is a contact page and in many cases you will see that the contact information has been completed for me from the configure autofill. If it doesn't complete depending on the way the page is created you may just have to type this in yourself. When you're ready including answering any questions such as this which I meant to avoid spam you click on send and your message will then be submitted. When it's shown as submitted, you then click here to mark that particular website as submitted. That will remove it from the list so that you don't contact these people twice. So do remember to click here when you've completed a submission. Now if you see a site that you don't particularly want to deal with, let's say this one, then you can hide it simply by clicking on the I icon here and you won't see it again. If you change your mind later, we do have an option to show all the sites that you've completed and all the sites that you've hidden. I'm now going to create a new job with an email contact. 
Now this will harvest email addresses for jobs in the niches and keywords that you put. So I'm going to do an example of weight loss and I have some keywords already and I'll put a job tag to remind me that this is a weight loss demo. And because it's email, I don't need to gather the trust and backlinks data in this particular case for this example. But if you want to, you would just check the box. Create the job, click close, click continue, and then wait for the job to finish. My job has now finished and it's found thousands of results for me. To download that information so that I can choose whether to email individual website owners, I simply click here. So that's opened a browser window for me and I can now save the file to my computer. I can then manipulate the file in Excel or Notepad and email as many or as few of the contacts as I wish. When you have a large number of jobs, you can filter very quickly using the search box here. Just by typing in the first few letters of your tags or descriptions, you will see that the list filters immediately for you. And when you've run out of credits, you can buy credits just by clicking here and choosing how many credits you wish to buy. As you can see, using Contact Scraper is extremely simple. But if you ever do need any help, just click on the Help tab here and you can contact us on the Help Desk here.